What's going on everybody, it's Joel here and today we're taking a look at the GORUCK Ballistic Trainers. All right, so I almost didn't even take a look at these shoes at all because the initial marketing behind them just completely rubbed me the wrong way. It was like talking about how, you know, low drop shoes are so bad for you and blah, 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 and how, you know, eight millimeter drop, high drop shoes are so much better, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I took that and I was like, eh, that's uh, something I don't really want to take a look at. Uh, but then, you know, curiosity got the best of me. I found a cheap pair on Poshmark that was brand new. I uh, got it for like 75 bucks. And they ended up being one of my uh, favorite shoes this year. Um, I don't think they're the greatest training shoe of all time, but I think they're a pretty good shoe. Uh, so first off, let's talk about the construction of the shoe. We have a few different fabrics on the upper here. The vamp toe box toe area is an engineered knit material. It's got a little bit of stretch to it. Uh, and it's very, very flexible in that area. It's comfortable. The toe box is very wide on the shoe. Uh, and then around the quarter panel and midfoot of the shoe, there is a 1680D Cordura fabric. And uh, I've had that kind of fabric on certain backpacks of mine and it's, it's a very durable material. And you can definitely feel the stiffness of the material in that area. Uh, around the back, there is an embedded TPU heel counter. Uh, it's in there, you can't see it, but it's it's definitely there, you, you can feel it there. And then you have this little, I don't know, PU Go Ruck logo part right at the Achilles. There's a lot of um, ankle cushioning and Achilles cushioning on this shoe. I really like the way that it fits, just in general, just uh, it, it, it fits, I, I mean, there's nothing fancy about the way that it fits, it just fits well. Um, the laces, Nothing fancy once again, but they work well. Uh, there is a, an extra lace loop or lace hole if you wanted to lace lock your shoes, which if you're using the anatomical insert that comes with it, I would definitely recommend that. And I'll talk about that later. The tongue is nothing special on this. It's that same kind of knit material. Uh, and it's okay, it's a little flimsy, but it stays in place. Uh, one thing that I noticed about the shoe is that when you unlace it, it tends to want to just open right up and uh, so that makes lacing it up a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. The midsole on this shoe is a dual density midsole. It's a single like piece gradient and you can't see where it breaks at all but the forefoot on the shoe is a little bit softer for your running or bounding movements and then the heel is a more firm EVA material. And then at the bottom of the shoe, there is a single piece of rubber outsole that is actually three different rubbers. So there is a more flexible rubber at the forefoot and the traction pattern is nothing crazy, but it actually does grip the floor really well. And then at the midfoot and heel part of the shoe, there is a more dense kind of rubber I don't actually know the durometer or anything. They don't really state anything like that. But the mid part of the shoe is supposed to be more durable for like rope climbs and whatnot. And then the heel is supposed to be also more durable for countless hours of rucking or running or training or whatever you're doing or beating up the pavement is uh, kind of what they say in their website. Uh, and if you look at mine, I've been using these for probably about two months now. There's really no wear at all on the outsole, which is, uh, that's a good thing. So like I said before, the shoes do come with two different sets of insoles. There's a more basic EVA foam insole that is going to be my preferred one. I just, I like the way that this one feels. It's a little bit closer to the ground. And then there is a more dense PU material insole. And this one has kind of like an anatomical shape to it. It kind of cups your arches. And I don't really care for this one. I think it detracts a little bit too much from the ground feel. Uh, it does add a little bit more heel cushioning. And, but another downside about this one is that it does feel like it's pushing your heel out of the shoe a little bit too much. And you're gonna need to use that lace lock if you plan to use the PU um, insert. I've tried it with both for running, for lifting, and I, I just don't really like the PU insert. I'd rather just stick to the more basic one. Uh, the shoes do weigh a little bit more on the heavy side, and I weighed them initially with the PU insert. Uh, they were 13.3 ounces for men's nine and a half, and without that insert, I forgot to measure. So I would say 
they're probably a bit about an ounce lighter. Uh, they definitely feel a lot lighter with just the more basic insert in them. And back to the drop of the shoe, it is an eight millimeter drop shoe. All right, so when you go to size your ballistic trainers, I'm gonna recommend that you go with a half size down. These do run on the big side. I got them in a nine and a half and they fit me pretty much like any other size 10 shoe would typically fit me. There's a lot of room in the toe box. There's not a whole lot of arch support in this shoe if you're using the more basic insert. If you're using the more anatomically shaped one, there's a little bit, but it's it's really not that bad. And I think these shoes are gonna fit a variety of like really wide feet uh, really well. Uh, I don't think they're overly wide at the same time. So if you have like more normal and narrow shaped feet, your feet are not going to be swimming around in these shoes at all. Plus you can get a pretty good fit with the just lacing system. I think it works just fine. Uh, there's no heel slip in the shoe. And I think overall the fit is one of the strongest features of the Go Rug Ballistic Trainers. If you remember to size them down. Okay, so when it comes to running and plyometric movements, I thought that these shoes were good enough. I don't like them for running. I think they're pretty clunky. Um, they're a little bit on the heavy side as well. Um, they're, to me, like, I guess you could do like a ruck in them and that would be okay because there's a pretty good amount of stability with them. Um, but overall, like the toe box, it's not that flexible. It's flexible enough. Uh, you can get away with most of the runs that you're doing in a CrossFit workout, 400, maybe 800 million runs, but I'm not going to take this on like dedicated runs or like or anything like that. It's it's just not that kind of shoe to me. Uh, it's also like it has a pretty good amount of contact area with the ground. There's no real shape to it. It's pretty flat, um, and that makes them feel pretty clunky when you're running. I ha I run with like a midfoot strike, and these just they're just not very good. And uh, I noticed that they were a little bit better on a treadmill. Um, they weren't so good on the pavement and uh, I just didn't really like running for, with them. Uh, but when it comes to like plyometric movements, doing like burpees, box jumps and stuff like that, I thought they were just fine. Uh, they're flexible enough. They never really light up your feet when you do like repeated bounding movements. The response to them is pretty good. Uh, and they're, the midsole is a little bit tall for me. Um, so that kind of detracts away from the ground feel just a little bit and it does take a little bit of getting used to but overall they are pretty responsive shoes and uh, I, I actually think that they're pretty good for most of the things inside of the box but when you take them running or you take them outside they're not so good i think they might be an okay hiking shoe because once again that's that stability comes into play but overall like for like training inside the box i thought that they were okay when it comes to like plyometric movements and, and running. The best feature about the Go Rec Ballistic Trainers is their stability. These things are rock solid stable. They are a little bit on the tall side and I don't like that. Like I was switching between shoes the other day and I noticed that these were, they're, they are a little bit muddy feeling when you first put them on, but once you get used to them uh, in the tall midsole, then they become really, really good lifting shoes. I've done pretty much all of my Olympic lifting in these, uh, snatch, clean and jerk, and I thought that they were, they were really good. They were really stable. Uh, the eight millimeter drop doesn't really pitch you forward. It has a very gradual kind of feel to it. And I never felt like these shoes put me too far on my toes at all. There's, they make full contact with the ground. The whole outsole is, is pretty much flat. There's a tiny bit of a rocker at the heel and there's a tiny bit of toe spring, but overall it's really easy to get grounded when you're lifting in these shoes. And that went with like squats too. I thought squatting in these shoes was very, very good. Uh, hit some pretty heavy squats. Deadlifting, not my favorite shoe. Eight millimeter drop, big midsole. Obviously those things are not gonna be um, conducive towards a good deadlifting shoe, but for the majority of things that you're doing, majority of weights that you're doing in a CrossFit gym or a CrossFit workout or a typical workout in general, you should be able to use these shoes just fine. I just don't prefer that they're a little bit on the tall side and the drop is a little high. Uh, other than that, I really like lifting in these shoes uh, and that was like the standout feature for me. Um, pretty much any time I saw, you know, heavy lifting on the programming, you know, these were the shoes that I reached for. I thought that these were excellent. Oh, the grip is also really good on these. Like when you land, you're like stuck to the ground. This rubber compound is really, really good. And all of that pretty much carries over to rope climbs as well. I thought that these were really, 
really good rope climbing shoes. They're really durable, like you don't really see any kind of wear. I've wiped them down after use, but these things stick to the rope. They don't come off your feet when you're coming down the rope. And overall, I think that these are one of the better rope climbing shoes that I've tried out this year. Okay, so these shoes retail for $125 shipped uh, that plays pretty much in the same area as you know any top shelf training shoe and i think that they're worth it i think that these shoes are actually pretty good um, there are no discounts that i know of i know that they had some sales on black friday but other than that i don't think you can get any kind of discounts besides like veteran discounts or military discounts or anything like that but i think for 125 dollars these are a solid pair of training shoes and one thing that i really like about them is that they're not the greatest looking shoes but because of that like i could just beat them up i don't really care what i do with these like i'll pretty much never shy away from anything <laughs> running uh, rope climbs rowing uh dragging them on the ground for burpees it like really doesn't matter to me uh, and i think that it's it's a bad thing because they're not like the greatest looking shoes the colorways are not amazing but they're a pretty utilitarian shoe in that they are just kind of like a basic looking shoe um, they do require a little bit of break in as well so do keep that in mind they're a little bit stiff initially and they never really get super duper flexible but I think that overall these are one of the better training shoes that I tried out this year and I'm glad that I was uh, able to pick them up because I ended up really liking them. Um, I don't think they're the perfect training shoe, but I think they're a really good one. So if you're looking for a little bit something different with your training shoe, I would actually recommend checking out the Go Ruck Ballistic Trainers. I, I think they're a pretty good shoe. If you guys have any questions about the Go Ruck Ballistic Trainers, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.